Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. Hello and welcome to another marvelous video. We are delighted you joined us as we continue our journey with dragons. We certainly know that House of the Dragon is a show that contains discussions about the Targaryen family's history and the various dragons they commanded. While the other Targaryens had several fearsome dragons under their control, Balerion the Black Dread, King Aegon the Conqueror's personal mount, struck the most profound dread in the hearts of the people of Westeros. But what became of this mighty creature? Stay tuned as we give you answers. Before before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. How did Balerion the Black Dread die? As one of the five dragons taken to Dragonstone prior to Aegon and his sisters capturing Westeros, Valerian was the last living thing to have witnessed Valeria with its own eyes. Of course, since no other dragon could match it, this legendary dragon was also the only Targaryen dragon known to have perished of old age. Having stated that, let's examine a little bit of Valerian the Dread's origin narrative. Valerian, the most enormous dragon ever known and also known as the Black Dread, was the one that everyone dreaded the most out of all the numerous dragons that the Targaryens employed to conquer Westeros. And because he was born in Valeria, Valerian's own history is entwined with the beginnings of the Dragon Lords and the dragons themselves. Aenar Targaryen sold his whole family's inheritance in Valeria and took five dragons to Dragonstone, a small island off Westeros' eastern coast, more than a century before Aegon the Conqueror became king. Aenar did this because his daughter, Daenys, predicted Valeria's doom. The Targaryens were one of the weaker Dragonlord families in Valeria, despite being the strongest family in Westerosi history. And because of this, the other dragon lords felt Aenar was weak for departing Valeria. However, 12 years after he left, Valeria was destroyed, and all its dragons were slaughtered by the tragic catastrophe that brought the ancient empire down. In that way, the five dragons transported to Dragonstone by Aenar were among the few that remained in the known world. Valerian was one of the dragons transported to Dragonstone by Aenar after being born in Valeria. Valerian and the other five dragons ensured that the dragons did not become extinct by reproducing with one another and producing additional dragons for the Targaryens to employ in the future. Valerian was the last survivor of the five dragons sent to Dragonstone a hundred years after the doom of Valeria. In that way, he was already the largest and eldest dragon controlled by Aegon and his three sisters when they attempted to conquer Westeros. Valerian earned the moniker Black Dread during the conquest of Westeros due to his black black scales and massive bulk. He cast such a big shadow that it engulfed entire villages, and when Beleriand appeared at a fight, no army could stand against the strength of the dragon recognized as the greatest in Westeros' history. Beleriand remained unopposed after Aegon's conquest of Westeros, since the king frequently employed him to keep the realm in check. When the other cities and potential rebels saw Aegon soaring on Beleriand, they lost their desire to revolt against the monarchy. As a result, Beleriand was also utilized to ensure that the seven kingdoms remained peaceful. When Aegon died in 37 AC, his younger son, Prince Maegor, seized the great dragon for himself. Maegor did not attempt to tame any more dragons before Aegon's death because he judged them unfit. He considered only Beleriand worthy of his position, as Maegor had usurped the crown from his nephew, Prince Aegon. Beleriand returned to Dragonstone after Maegor died since no other Targaryen could claim the dragon. Princess Arya, however, claimed Beleriand and flew with a dragon in 54 AC. They both vanished for approximately two years, returning with Arya extremely ill and Beleriand injured. The princess died shortly after. Rumor has it that she was unable to control the dragon to her will, forcing Beleriand to carry her to Valeria, where they remained for two years together. Beleriand was the first dragon to be kept in the dragon pit following the catastrophe with Arya. Elisa Targaryen was the first to try to claim him in two decades. However, she was convinced to seek another dragon because Beleriand was already old and sluggish at the time. Beleriand ultimately found a mount when Prince Viserys claimed him in 93 AD. Viserys, on the other hand, thought that the dragon would not be able to fly 
tie him all the way to Dragonstone because of how old Balerion had gotten. Viserys, who later became king, was the last person to ride Balerion. Balerion died in old age in 94 AC. That indicates that unlike the other dragons who perished in battle, Balerion died of natural causes and he was over 200 years old when he died. He became the only known dragon in the Targaryen dynasty's history to die of old age. Balerion's skull was stored in the Red Keep's throne room after his death as a reminder of the Targaryen's might. After all, he was the largest and most powerful dragon in Targaryen history. In Game of Thrones, we saw that during Robert Baratheon's rule, Valerian's massive skull was kept in a damp basement in the Red Keep. It was also utilized to put Kyburn's scorpion weapon, which was powerful enough to pierce Valerian's head to the test. True, Rhaegar was eventually killed by the scorpion. Marvelous Verdict To sum up, Beleriand was the fiercest and largest dragon the Targaryens ever mounted. He was there for more than a century and took part in numerous battles. And we all know that no one dies of old age in the cruel world of Westeros. Judging by eight seasons of Game of Thrones and one season of House of the Dragon, Beleriand, however, got the honorable death of just dying of old age, just like his last writer, King Viserys, which is quite an achievement in my books. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the like and share button, and I'll see you on our next video.